Good morning. My mom and I are here at the McGraw Ranch, also known as the Cow Creek Trailhead in the Lumpy Ridge section of Rocky Mountain National Park. Actually, I think we're just outside the park right now, but we're gonna be entering it soon. And today, we're going for Bridal Vale Falls. Pretty easy hike. I think we're looking at just over three miles out with just under a 1,000 foot elevation gain. Official start time, 5.54. We're hiking through the McGraw Ranch and just a word of advice, if you're gonna come down to this trailhead, get here early. I'm talking like when the sun comes up because there's very limited parking down there and it's already filling up fast. We were the second car this morning and already in like the last five minutes, like a whole bunch more pulled up. And just past the McGraw Ranch are the restrooms. We're getting another stretch of really rainy weather here in Northern Colorado. So we're hoping we can get a few hours this morning before it rains. The first 15 minutes of this hike is really flat. It gives you a nice little warm up and then you start going up. That's looking over at Sheep Mountain. I've done that one before. It's a pretty fun little bushwhack. But what we're gonna do is stay on the trail, take it around that high point, and up to Bridal Veil Falls. And that's where most of the elevation gain is gonna be. We've been hiking for about 25 minutes and we have made it up here to the first trail split. According to the sign, we have hiked 1.2 miles and we've got two miles left up to Bridal Veil vale Falls. That should go pretty quick. I probably could have got some better shots of those turkeys if I wasn't hiking through here blabbing my mouth so loud. And then we heard this big I was like, oh my bad, I probably just scared them away. This trail starts off pretty mild up by the ranch, but it gets much better about a mile and a half in. I think this is my fourth Bridal Veil vale Falls video. I think I have a real old one that I shot with the shaky cam. And then I know I've done it in the winter. And then I've also done it in the summer. But the reason I wanted to come out here and do it again today is because we have had like record amounts of snowfall and a lot of rain lately. And this waterfall is gonna be gushing. I've heard that there's so much water coming down that you can't even get across to the other side. 
that's going to be dark mountain sticking up right there in front of us. I've got a couple of videos on that. That's a real nice hike if you want to get away from people. All right, guys, and we're trucking right along. We have been hiking for 50 minutes exactly. And we have 1.2 more miles up to Bridal Veil Falls. Even though we're probably in the mid 40s, low 50 degrees for weather, it is a little muggy out here. There's a lot of moisture in the air. And I am sweating. You're probably like, oh, that's a big surprise. We saw you at the end of that Bear Peak hike. Looks like somebody dumped a bucket of water on your head. And we're coming around Sheep Mountain. I think this last 1.2 miles from the trail split to the falls usually takes us like 45 minutes or so, which gets us up there in just over an hour and a half. I think that sounds about right. And then it's like an hour and 15 to hike back. section.
night passing by the hitch rack so that means we're getting close but this hike gives you like a third of the elevation gain in the last like five percent of the hike it's crazy we've just made it out to the crux of the hike you have to navigate these slabs I might as well roll it in case I fall and bust my ass oh yeah that's not bad at all yeah, at least it's dry right here too that's good And then right here, it is slightly tricky. You want to stay to the right and start going up the rocks right here. After you make it over the slick rock and then up that little steep part, the rest of this is smooth sailing. Present to you, Bridal Veil Falls. Normally, you can cross the water right along here. It's not too bad. You might get a little wet, but it is totally impossible today. There's no way across this part. That is treacherous. It's tea time up here at Bridal Vale Falls.
it's about 8.35, which means that we've been sitting up here for a little over an hour, but it's time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. Let's take it on back. And my goodness, it is loud up there. This is super nice coming down. Yeah, we're cruising. While we were sitting up there at the top, my mom thought she had found this really cool blue rock. Turns out it was a petrified piece of gum. She was like, ew, and threw it. It was funny. We're joining back with the main trail here. It's about 9.10. This only took 50 minutes to get out here this morning. So we should be back by 10 o'clock. And I know the hike isn't over yet, but so far I have managed not to blow a goober onto myself. Well, it looks like the run of bright and colorful sunny videos is over. This one's gonna be kind of dark, a little gloomy. We're knocking this out. It's probably just a little past 9.30 right now. And we've got maybe a mile left. It's really pretty through here. I wish we had a little more sunlight, but it's still really pretty. We got the golden banner flowers popping right there. Home stretch. I can see the bathroom and the McGraw Ranch right out there in front of us. And this is a good hike because you're not going to get like huge mobs of people on it because you simply can't fit that many cars at the trailhead. So for that fact, it's not as busy as some of the other hikes in Rocky Mountain National Park. And we have made it back to the McGraw Ranch. It's just now 9.50 which means that it has taken an hour and 15 minutes to hike down. 135 up, 115 down. And that's a really nice hike. Not too hard at all. All right, Bridalville Falls. Boom, got it. And once again, my tire was low and my pump is saving the day. I've used this thing probably 15 times. We've got the tire aired up, and I managed to get through the entire hike without blowing a booger onto myself. <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed the hike, and until the next one, y'all, peace.